very important. Never neglect your family for the call. Never neglect family for the call. Your wife still needs time and attention. Your children still needs time and attention. You still need to rest. You still need to have balance in all those things. Now, I've had uh, some clergy to kind of bump back on me uh, in terms of that particular ideology because they say, well, you got all this stuff to do and your family just going to have to understand. And then they even quote scripture, Matthew 19 and 29, it says, for everyone that have forsaken houses and brethren and sister and father and mother or wife or children or lands for my sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Well, let me tell you, we have to realize, yes, we have to make hard decisions. Yes, there are going to be times when we have to sacrifice. Yes, there are going to be times when it's unavoidable. But it should not be a habit that everything comes before your family. Because family, remember this, because you don't remember nothing else in this video. Family is first ministry. Family is first ministry. Your wife needs to know that you love her first. Your children need to know that you love them first. Your family, your brothers and sisters need to know that you love them first. Because ministry is also visual. We can say this and we can do this and all of those kind of things, but at the same time, if we say one thing and we live in another, then people call that hypocrisy. So not only talk the talk, be able to walk the walk. No, you, you might can't make it to every barbecue. You might can't make it to every barbecue, but you can make it to some. You might can't make it to every family function, but you can make it to some. Or either you can at least show up and stay a little while. And then the other thing about it is, is that uh, sometimes they want to see you in uh, what I call a natural light. They want to see you play dominoes. They want to see you laugh. They want to see you have fun. They want to see you do something besides talk about God and stand in the pulpit. So have some balance in that. The other thing about it is, is make sure your boss, your, 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 your spouse is on board. Make sure your spouse is on board. What do I mean by that? I have seen times in the years I've been in ministry where it was obvious that the spouse was sabotaging the ministry. They was doing little things to make it harder. Because of resentment, because their spouse, could be the male or the female, was spending so much time in ministry until they was doing things for attention. Don't have it to whereas uh, your spouse is doing things for attention because you don't pay him or her any mind because ministry comes first all the time. See, it ought to not be that they got to jump up and be on fire in order for them to get your attention and when all somebody else got to do is just call, and you're at their beck and call. Have some balance in that. Seek God for wise financial support. Too many times I've known pastors to get their lights turned off at their house because they was keeping the lights on at the church. And the church, didn't even, sometimes a lot of times, the church didn't even know that, they was in, that it was behind or that it was a problem or anything. Go to the congregation and let them know what's going on. Because the average woman is only going to sit in the dark so many times. She, she going to sit in the dark so many times, and then what she's going to say is, I'm talking, y'all, is that where the Lord called you, he didn't call me. I'm going somewhere where I can sit in the air, where I can sit uh, in, 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 uh, and, and, and not have to worry about that. Because right now, I'm in Texas, and it's 100 degrees today. And I'm a big fella, you know, so I, I need to be in the air. I, I need to be where the lights is on. I need to be where it's electricity, even my own self. So the thing about it is, is that you have to have some balance in that thing. And you got to communicate. Don't be ashamed to let the congregation know when it's lack. But if people, I found this out because Zion is doing it, y'all. When people give consistently and they give out of their heart, boy, God meets the need. That consistent gift, doing the best that you can on a consistent basis. But what you got to do is, is that don't build a codependent church. What do I mean by that? If you pastor a church where you cannot take off one day, 
where you cannot take a vacation, where you cannot miss for no reason, or the church going to fall down, it, it, it's going to be in disarray, then you're building a codependent church. Everything cannot fall on your desk. Everything should not fall on your desk. Everything should not be just only your de decision. It ought to be some type of management level whereas some things are done by people, I won't say lower level, but different responsibility. Because everybody got work to do. Remember what Moses did? He, he divided the work up and they was given responsibility and only the greater things ever even got the motive, Moses. He gave, he gave us the, the platform. He, he gave us the, the, the groundwork that we know we know what to do. We can't, we can't do everything. We can't handle everything. I know some pastors that actually have people that's been in the ministry with them a long time that know their heart, know they are about certain things, that actually screen their calls. They screen their calls, so it's just certain things. Not only do it not get to him, he never even hear it. Because they already know, no, nah, pastor ain't going for that. What I've been talking about is the application in Ephesians chapter 5, 15 through 17. That's what I've been talking about. A lot of times I look at not just what scripture says, but what does it mean and what does it have to do with me? And I believe Ephesians chapter 15, 15 through 17 will show us that we need to spend time making time so that we can make the most of our time. That we need to spend time making time so that we can make the most of our time. Well, how are we going to do that? Let's review for a minute. Plan your day. Plan your day. Even plan a day to rest or a time to rest. Sometimes it might not be a whole day. Sometimes it might not be a whole day. Uh, uh, Sometimes I have to go in and change my schedule uh, in order to accommodate married couples for counseling, uh, especially if it's conflict resolution, because I don't want to get, get too bad before they talk to somebody. So if I have to change my schedule a little bit, I'll do that. Plan your day, organize and delegate, be wise with your time, share the load, break it up, interval work management, prioritize what you're doing, never forget family, do not neglect your family for ministry, build through discipleship, don't have a codependent ministry, and never forget the why. Never forget the because. Because the why, the because the because is what keeps you going. The because is we preach not of ourselves, but Jesus Christ. The because is because Jesus died on the cross for us. The because is he sacrificed his life for us. The because is he's coming back again. The because is he's coming for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. So we got to remember the because and the why, and it keeps us going. Hello, guys. Welcome, 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 guys. This is Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries. My name is Priscilla Guillory Brown. Some people call me Priscilla. Some people call me Lady P. But this is Priscilla Guillory Brown coming to you with Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries. And we have some wonderful, 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 exciting news that's going on in the ministry, guys. This, that we are in need of your help. We need partners in order to help us get the word out about Jesus so that we can share the love of Jesus Christ. We want everyone to be saved and for, for the whole body of Christ to know of Jesus. So, guys, we need your help. We need partnerships. We need partnerships at it, at, at the minimum level of $10, $20, $30, $40, $50, $60, 
$40 and $50 or more of monthly partners in order for us to continue with the word of God. Guess what, guys? You know, like they say on TV, and wait, and wait. We got a special bonus coming to you guys. For everybody, everyone that donates at least $20 or more, you know you're going to get something for free? You're going to get Bishop K.J. Brown a book that he just wrote out called are you ready? And there's a word here that says Harpanza. Look it up. It's in the book. I'm not going to tell you what it means, but look it up. But anyway, Bishop has wrote this wonderful book about the rapture. And guys, we need you all to, to, to donate. Every first 100 people that donate at least $20 or more will receive this free book, guys. And guess what else we got going on? Bishop K.J. Brown has built his very own radio station. We are so excited and so happy for this radio station, guys. It's going to bless you. I mean, it is phenomenal. It is, how they say, bananas. You're going to go bananas over this station, guys. Bishop Brown will be preaching at every three hours. Is it three hours? It's three, six, nine, and 12 a.m. and p.m. Around the clock. Three, six, nine, and 12. Three, six, nine. Just like a cheer. Bishop Brown will be bringing you the word of God. And guess what? It's going to be different messages. It's not going to be the same message you heard at three. It's not going to be the same message you heard at six. It's going to be different messages daily that will be on the radio station. Guys, I mean, Bishop has built this radio station. There's lots of praise and worship. You're going to hear good music, good choir music. You're going to have some contemporary music on there. You're going to have some country music on there. Is it rapping on there too, Bishop? There's going to be raps on there. I mean, guys, Christian raps, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. But remember to go to www.bishopkjbrown.org in order to get more information about the ministry and also on, on order for you to click on to the radio station. Bishop Brown, go ahead on and take it away from us. Well, I just want to let everybody know that uh, Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries is a, a family of ministries. Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries is Zion Tabernacle Church. Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries is Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries itself. But we also, the way that we do ministry is digital in addition to some one-on-one. -on -one. But we have a radio station, and that was something God just dropped in my lap and told me to do. I, I didn't have any experience on how to build a radio station or how to get everything together. But God told me to put the gospel in their hands put the praise in their hands. And I didn't understand. God gave it to me in a dream. And then I, I, I one day, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it, and I had my phone in my hand, and it came to me. That's what God was talking about. And so the radio station has it where you can send a prayer request. It, it gives you the link to send in a prayer request. It talks about uh, how you can uh, listen to the messages. I'll let you know that it's at 3, 6, 9, and 12 a.m. and p.m. And then also uh, it talks about uh, it just talks about Jesus several times a day. And, and, and the thing about it is I wanted some praise, I wanted preaching, and I wanted prayer all in one spot. And God gave all of this for me to do, but we need your help to continue it. Yes. Uh, the radio station, uh, the programming I'm doing, uh, picking out the songs, my wife is helping with that, uh, I'm doing too. Uh, God just putting a lot of hats on for me in terms of what I'm doing, and I'm enjoying the journey. But I need your help. We need your help. Because what we are, and we are a ministry that believes in building, winning lives for a coming Lord. We're not a prosperity theology ministry and all those kind of things. We don't have any kind of gimmicks or anything like that. We just straight up word. Mm -hmm. I preach like that. My wife preaches like that. Storyteller Pastor Simmons preaches like that. We are a word church. We're a word ministry. So I want you to know that we have the radio station. We have the building fund that we're doing because we're going to build a ministry facility, a ministry facility. We're just not building a church. We're beyond that. God showed me beyond that. The ministry facility will have the community center. It will have the worship center, and it will have the administrative offices, and that will be the television production and the radio production. Because what we're doing, we're not, we're not going to stop. We're going to do bigger. Right. We're going to do bigger. Right now, we're on Kingdom Purpose TV. We come on every Sunday 
at 10 a.m. And we have in the future that it's more stations that we're going to get on because we want to reach the nation. We want to reach the city. We want to reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ because there is no greater value than your soul. I've been saying it for so many years. Uh, I, I'm excited about doing this commercial because I really, uh, this, this, just a little talking, uh, because I don't really like talking about me, but I love talking about Jesus. And I have a passion for this. I have a love for this. Uh, the television is for you. The radio is for you. The app is for your convenience. We send in Bibles to Africa. We've been sending Bibles to Kenya for quite some time. Uh, uh, we're going to want to try to continue to do that. I lost uh, contact with the, uh, the young man, the pastor, uh, uh, during the pandemic. Uh, we're going to try to do uh, Kenya again or either Uganda. But we, we continue in our commitment to send Bibles to Africa. The reason why we stopped is that I didn't want to send Bibles and I didn't know it was getting where it was supposed to go. I didn't want, because I want to be, and we are good stewards over that that you give. My mother, Mother Brown, some of you know her, she always say, bless it and stretch it. And so what I do is I, I believe in what she prayed to bless it and stretch it, but also everyone that gives, it could be a dollar a month, a twenty dollars a month, or whatever it is. Anyone that gives the Bishop KJ Brown Ministry, Zion Tabernacle Church, I pray over that gift. I do it personally. I do it personally. I pray over that gift. We you we, we do the uh, offering uh, on, on on Sundays. I, I pray the prayer, but I also take those names. I look at that list as it comes, and I pray for those individuals that God will increase them that God will increase what goes into their household because everybody wants to move in. Everybody wants to have more. But what we want to do is think about kingdom. So I want you to give not so much as a percentage gift, but a priority gift because I want you to give to kingdom because God is, hey, he's coming back. Yes. That, that's what this book is about. I never saw... At this point in time in my life, me being able to be a published author, author of Are You Ready? And I didn't know what to write on the first page. I sat with an empty screen, an empty sheet of paper, and I said, God, you show me to do this. You're going to have to show me what to do. And now we got a book. Everything that God has shown me has come to pass. And I believe that God is going to use you for the efforts that continue in what we're doing to build the kingdom. In TV, in radio, in community, in counseling, in church, in everything that we're doing. Zion Tabernacle Church, Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries works hand in hand. I also want to thank personally, as I'm talking, for Zion Tabernacle Church, and especially Pastor Ellie Simmons, Sister Sharon, uh, Sister Pepper, all those that's been with me through the years. Zion, Bishop K.J. Brown Minister, we are 17 years old. We're 17 years old. So we're continuing on that consistent gift. We're asking you for that consistent gift because we got work to do. God has given me a vision that has to happen and I believe it is going to happen. I, sometime I listen to C.C. Wine and sing that song, Believe For It, until I be about to pass out. Because I believe for it. I know what he showed me. I know what he showed me in dream. I know what he showed me in vision. I know what he keeps in my spirit. And so all we're doing is asking for your help. $10 a month, $29 a month, $30, $40, $50. You might even be blessed that you can do $100 a month. But know that it's going to good ground. It might be $10,000 a month, my wife says. You never know. You never know. But guess what? Whatever your gift feels is confidential. Mm -hmm. It's confidential. I don't play the such and such game you need to give away. I don't play that. Matter of fact, at Zion Tabernacle Church, not one time have we taken up more than one offering. Right. And the one time that we it almost happened, Pastor Simmons stopped right in the middle of it and said, Stop, don't do it. Pastor going to be upset. Bishop going to be upset. Because he says that this church cannot ever be. So what we're doing is we're asking you, we're giving you an opportunity to bless kingdom. Yeah, God just gave me that. An opportunity to bless kingdom. Our website is bishopkjbrown.org. Our church website is ztchurch.com. 
www.ministryofjesusinc.org. And all we want you to do is help in this kingdom work. Because you know what? God wants you to, to win. To win. Amen. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries presents Are You Ready? An informative written work that breaks down the questions you have always had about the rapture. This informative work is designed to lay out a simple to understand argument using biblical support to get you ready for the rapture. Purchase your copy today by visiting www.bishopkjbrown.org. Click on Bookstore link. Now, the question is, are you ready? Months ago, I studied this book with my family and looking through all the chapters in the, in the tribulations. Bishop Brown is, is, is a good one. So... On chapter 2, overcoming the anxiety and uncertainty of Christ's return, everything that, that, that has happened will, everything that has happened will happen. Mm -hmm. okay. You understand this word? I understand everything that's written in this book. And has he said, right or not, he is sure to come. The rapture. This book has been coming, the pastor to explain to us about the second coming, the great tribulation, and the end of the world, and the rapture. Pastor uh, Bishop Kelvin Brown has put this in a summary so that it's easily understood that what, what are the signs and the things for us to look at. He talked about the prophetic return, the second coming of Jesus, and he talked about how we need to know the difference. Yes. As a kid, we we heard a lot of things, and we heard a lot of songs from old people that were singing when Jesus comes back. But the rapture here in the second coming with this book, Are You Ready? It prepares us today to look for the signs. He said that Christ would be coming back for his bride, just like he would be right. going back for his bride. And this, the prophets from the gospel talked about Jesus' second coming and the signs of things. Today we see all of these things happening and we're caught up with, is this the tribulation or is the rapture? But we know from this book that the rapture is not here yet. We're waiting. Okay? Thank you, guys. Amen. 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 The Bishop's Book. I studied with my family with the book and I enjoyed it a whole lot not just being the executive pastor of this church, but I enjoyed the book in itself, the rapture, when we are caught up and to be with the Lord. See, one thing about this book is that nobody put it in, you read a lot of other books, mm -hmm. and a lot of other ministers have done books and publishers and stuff, but the pastor broke the book down mm -hmm. so it can be understandable by even a child. Mm -hmm. That's what you you need to get the book. You need to get the book. Thank you. Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries presents Are You Ready? An informative written work that breaks down the questions you have always had about the rapture. This informative work is designed to lay out a simple to understand argument using biblical support to get you ready for the rapture.
Purchase your copy today by visiting www.bishopkjbrown.org. Click on Bookstore link. Now, the question is, are you ready? This salvation, greatest miracle of salvation, greatest value is your soul, greatest tragedy is to die and not be saved. That's the greatest tragedy. Greatest opportunity is accepting the Savior. The greatest time to do it is while the blood is running warm in your veins. When I was a little boy, I thought that was so silly and I didn't know what they was talking about. But I worked in hospitals long enough to touch bodies that was cold. To touch bodies that rigor mortis had set in and the stiffness came in. And it didn't take no long time. So while the blood is running warm in your veins, you need to accept it the same. Because you need to already be ready. Already be ready. Already know him as Savior. Already have him as your Lord. Because when the trumpet sound, it's too late. Because after the trumpet sound, the only time you got is less than a blink. What you going to do with less than a blink?